Hello, and welcome back to Dancers vs. Food, where I try to teach you how to eat with or without your dancers. Something I've never done on this channel is hard-boiled eggs. Now, I personally can never get my eggs to peel like they show on TV or in videos or professional cooking shows or any of that stuff. I have tried every trick in the book. Um, you know, they say that immediately after you take them out of the boiling water, you got to put them in a salt bath. I mean, an ice bath. I did that. My eggs still don't peel properly. Half the egg stays in the shell most of the time. But today, I thought I would talk about you know, there's so many people struggling with their immediate dentures and can't eat anything or can't bite through anything. And I made these boiled eggs yesterday and it just kind of hit me that <coughs> boiled eggs would be a pretty good starting point for somebody to be able to start biting through stuff. So it's soft it's not difficult to chew and even though it's hard to bite with immediate dentures or when you first get your dentures you can actually bite through one of these nice and slow I'm telling you it's gonna take me forever to peel this damn egg they just don't peel I don't get it I've tried everything. I mean, I've tried every single trick they show on YouTube. I've tried every trick the professional chefs show. I can never get my damn boiled eggs to peel without half the egg still being in the shell. I just can't do it. It's frustrating. It's aggravating. It makes me just want to throw them in the trash and forget it, you know? And yes, I still get frustrated even not so much with my dentures, but I get frustrated over things like this because all I wanted to do was peel a damn egg and make a video and I can't because it's going to take me 20 minutes just to peel the stupid egg. So all of you out there that get frustrated with your dentures Believe me, I understand the frustration with the dentures. I also understand understand the other frustrations that come along with that, like trying to peel an egg. Like all you want to do is eat something and you can't because you can't peel the damn egg. You know? I mean, give me a break already. I'm still working on it. I'll eventually get it. It may be Christmas before I'm done, but I will eventually get this egg peeled. God, this is just aggravating. I mean, it's almost as frustrating as trying to get denture fit out of your dentures. Denture fit's amazing, and it really helps a lot of people, but I gotta tell you, it is not easy to remove from the denture when it's time to replace it. All right, I finally, I think I finally got this one peeled. I don't get it, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I've done everything. Some professional chefs will tell you, just take them out, put them on a, a rack and just let them air dry, let them air cool, and that'll make them peel great. Others tell you, you have to just dump the hot water in and just start putting cold water in the pan and just keep letting the cold water overflow the pan until the eggs are cold. I've tried that too. Most of them will tell you immediately drop the egg as soon as you pull it out of the pan, hot boiling water, drop it in an ice bath. That instant cold will shock the egg and the membrane and get it to peel easy. I just tried that trick. It's not working. Nothing I'm doing is working. So anyway, I finally got one peeled. So, the got a little salt on my plate here. I'm going to put on my egg. 
with the eggs, you don't want to open your mouth that wide. You want to take small bites. The closer your teeth are together, the more power you can put on your dentures without them coming loose. And I know most people would just take the egg, pop it in their mouth. If you're wearing immediate dentures, you're not going to be able to do that. So take us another small bite off the side. And then do that again on the other side. There is no law that says you have to stick half the egg in your mouth. You can just bite around it. So I would get frustrated and try to peel try to peel another one. Let's try. They don't like to peel. I'm telling you right now. My eggs do not like to peel. But I wanted to show you this because I get so many comments from people that are struggling with their immediate dentures. And you have to understand, it's going to take time. You're not going to get your dentures and then, really, not a good day. You're not going to get your dentures and immediately start eating carrots and celery and ripping chicken from a bone and everything else. I've said this in I don't know how many videos. It's going to take time. And for those of you that have had your dentures for, you know, a couple of months now and you're still saying you're on a liquid diet. I have to be completely honest with you. You're not trying. Now, I love all of you, and I'm kind of like a, a coach. And a coach is honest with you. A coach doesn't tell you how great a job you're doing when you're not making the effort. A coach tells you you're not making the effort, that's why you're not succeeding. So, I understand that psychological interference we have with our dentures because when you first get your dentures, it's hard to eat. It's really difficult to eat and you, it hurts. And that pain kind of screws us up and we don't want to deal with it. So, we don't try as hard as we actually should be. But you have to understand that your mouth has to get used to the pressure of those dentures and it may hurt some. You may experience some pain when you're first trying to eat with your dentures. But when you start practicing with things like boiled eggs, and yes it may even hurt to bite through a boiled egg. When I first got my dentures I thought I'll eat a banana. That soft. <laughs> Felt like I was trying to bite through a brick because my mouth was in shock and it hurt my gums. But I didn't just stop and eat soup for the next seven and a half years. I kept trying. And eventually I was able to bite through that banana. And I never did boiled eggs, but Honestly, I wished I would have known about boiled eggs. I wish I would have thought about doing boiled eggs because it's really one of the softer foods you can eat with dentures and they're loaded with protein and nutrients. So 
Boiled eggs are fantastic for you. Not only good for you, they're probably going to be a lot simpler to eat with your dentures when you first get them than trying to eat a big old cheeseburger or something. I know there's a lot of videos on YouTube of people showing off what they can eat with their dentures. And you want to be able to do the same thing. My videos, I teach you how to do that, but it takes time. It doesn't happen overnight, it takes time. So again, small bite. That one took a while to peel too. I'm going to eat this one like I normally do. So, because I'm used to my dentures, I just kind of want to show you the contrast of what you should do with your immediate dentures or if you're new to dentures how you should eat and how you can eat once you're used to everything. It takes So long for me to peel an egg that I don't want to do the other two on camera. Let me rinse out real quick. Got to rinse under the jaw too, under the bottom denture. Nothing in the upper denture. Nothing in the lower denture. So I just wanted you to see this because I think that if you're really struggling with eating, this is going to help you. It'll get something in your gut so that you can feel full. And even if you have to peel the eggs and then kind of mash them with a fork a little bit, not don't mash them completely. You know, cut it into smaller chunks with a fork if you have to. But at least it'll get you something solid in your system. I could only go about three days on a liquid diet after having 26 teeth ripped out of my face, my jaw bones shaved down, gums filleted and stitched back up again, and then dentures stuck in my mouth over the top of all that. After three days, I was so hungry that... I just started, I got those little pasta and chicken and pasta Alfredo uh, things that you can put in the microwave and I started eating. I wasn't, I couldn't go another day without sustenance, so, but that's me. Not everybody can do that. So I hope this video helps. If it does, guys, please hit the subscribe button. Only about 20% of you are subscribed to my channel. That's not helping me or anybody else. If you're not subscribing, it's not letting YouTube know that people like the videos and they need to recommend them to more people. By hitting the subscribe button and clicking the like button, you really help the channel grow. It gets YouTube's little algorithm to say, oh, a lot of people like these videos. Let's promote them to more people that are looking for information about how to eat with their dentures. So you're not just helping my channel grow, you're helping other people by clicking the subscribe button and clicking the like button. It doesn't cost you anything except a few seconds of your time. So I would greatly appreciate it if you do that for me. After all, I do a lot for you. I'm just asking for that one little thing. Hope everybody has an amazing day. I will see you in my next video.